we didn't necessarily want to offer social media as a service. Social ads comes into our world as a thing in terms of skills, but we didn't really necessarily want to offer it. But when we started to work with business leaders and realized that they're better at representing their business in some situations like digital marketing, uh, when you think about personal branding, that will down the business. Um, we've got one particular client um, that's one of Lord Sugar's businesses, and uh, we work with uh, his son really closely on their social media content. And the business content is reaching the business audience, but him as the thought leader, the CEO, the expert in the business, his content hits and it, and it's got how much higher engagement. We're not, we haven't got goals on this particular client, a client like e-commerce, like measuring click throughs and whatever, but the, the data we're looking at is that the personal brand content works better. Um, and it's really, really effective for that client and many others we work with from the leader of the business to gain that trust and, and, and authenticity. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it so hard to do without that external support is just keeping that faith in the process that it will lead to the things that you want to achieve. And, you know, if I think of the amount of times I almost come unstuck in the first six to 12 months of building my LinkedIn presence and the fact that I was in a business and being held accountable for growing sales within the business meant I needed to stick with it. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have if it was just something on a personal mission. So I think having that accountability is crucial for personal brand. Um, so yeah, 